guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Marvise. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So today I'm coming finally with my Bucks and Charm unboxing for the month of June 2017. So um, for any of you who don't know what Bucks and Charm is, this is a subscription box where you get four to five products, usually uh, makeup or it could also be beauty products like skincare and things like that. And you only pay $21 a month and you receive this beautiful four to five full size products. So far the value of the box has been over $100, so we've gotten over $100 worth of products every single month at least since I've been trying this, which is probably around a year maybe or even more. So it's a pretty good box. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to open the box and share the products with you and at the same time I'm going to try the products on. As you can see I have nothing on my eyes so that means we're going to play with our eyes in this box. As you know, if you have watched my other videos, I always follow the, um, I always look for the sneak peeks on Boxy Charm Instagram. So I always know kind of like the things that we're going to get. So I know that this month we're getting an eye palette which I love. Boxy Charm eye palettes so far, so we're gonna play with that and then with the other products. So let's just jump and see which products we got this month and how they were, guys. So here I have my box. So let's just get ready to open it. So the first thing, guys, is that usually we get a card in the box, but for some reason I did not get any card on my box. Mm -hmm. So um. I guess I'm just going to Google it real quick and see what this month's card is all about and also try to see if I can find the prices of the products because usually I like to tell you guys how much the products cost and how much is the value of the box at the end. So let me just look real quick and I'll be right back. So this month's theme is Downtown Charm. It has a really cute card. Hopefully you guys can kind of see it. Um, so you can have an idea. The cards that we usually get are like little cards like this or like this one, they're really cute cards and usually in the back you can see kind of like um, details on the products and you know the prices of the products but like I said I didn't get mine so I'm just going to be looking at my phone and trying to see the details down there. So right off the bat the first thing we have here is um, I guess this is like a little discount um, code card so this is a um, 30, let me see. Yeah, this is a 30% off of OprahCosmetics.com using the code BUXY30. So, so if you want to get 30% off, you just use this little code right in this card. So the first product that I got right here is this um, brush by Luxie Beauty. So this is a 640 Pro Precision Taper Brush. And uh, mine is a little bit like bended, but it looks like this is a really nice brush for um, highlight. And it is super, super soft. Like I love Luxie. Um, like Luxie brushes because they're all super soft. They're really nice. I have a couple of them that I've gotten on different boxes and I just use all of those. I just love them. And this brush just makes me want to keep like, uh, just, I don't know, playing with it. <laughs> so the brush retails for $24 and you can get it at luxiebeauty.com. Yeah, so really nice brush right there. And the next product that I'm going to get out of my box is um, this eyeshadow palette and this is the Real Her Playbook. So this eyeshadow palettes came in like number one, two or three. I got number one and they retail for $28 and you can purchase them at realher.com. So this eyeshadow palette says that it's pattern free, it's vegan, certified cruelty free, lawn wearing, natural ingredients and sulfates free. So it looks like a pretty interesting uh, product. Hopefully it will be uh, pigmented enough to show up in my eyelids. And yeah, let's just see how this baby looks like. So this is what the palette looks like. As you can see, I got some like gold colors, like coppery kind of colors, some lighter colors. And then we got like um, this dark color right here. So looks like it will be, you know, kind of versatile. We have also this kind of like a purpley shade right here. Um, it does have a mirror, so we have a mirror right here. So I just swatched them for you guys real quick right here so you can kind of see the colors. I just wanted to show you. 
So as you can see, they, most of them are kind of metallic. I think the only uh, kind of like matte colors we got are these two colors right here. So the black and also we have like a toppy kind of color right here and this one is matte as well. Besides that, all of the other colors are kind of like metallic. So hopefully you guys can see that. They're very beautiful colors. So let's just start and kind of try to get an eye look with these colors and see how they work on our eyelids. So I'm going to start with this color right here, the color is Tron, and I'm going to put this one on my crease with my Luxie um, Taper Blending Brush that looks like this. And of course, I already primed my eyes and uh, set in the um, primer that I was using. So I'm going in with my Wet n Wild blending brush and just trying to kind of like blend the color a little bit more right here. I will say this is not my favorite uh, transitioning color or like my favorite color for my crease, but uh, we'll see. We can make it work, I think. So I'm going to go with this color right here, Proud, and I'm going to put it all over my lid. I'm going to use my favorite e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. This one's a little bit powdery, but still works, still pigmented. Alright, so I already have Proud on my eyelids, and I think it's not bad. Um, I'm going to go with the black color Smart, and I'm going to use my Elf Crease Brush, this one right here. And I'm just going to go in the outer corner of my eyes and try to see... Oh, that's a lot of kick. You see that? A lot of fallout. So. Going in with the color of fun, and this I'm going to apply it in the inner corner of my eyelids. Courageous. Alright guys, so I already put the shadows on. As you can see, the shadows had a little bit of fallout, especially the black shadow had kind of like a lot of fallout on my eyes. So I'm just going to clean up that area and then finish up my eye look. So I might put a little bit of like liner and then um, a little bit of um, mascara and then I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so as you can see, I already finished up um, the eye look, so what I did was just clean up underneath my eyes and put a little bit of mascara. I also lined uh, like the, the inner part of my um, of my eyes. I did not put liner. Like I was thinking about a cat liner, but I would go really good with this look. But I'm a little bit too lazy for that, so I'm gonna owe you that part. And yeah, this is basically how the eyes look like. I think the shadows perform pretty well. I was surprised though about um, the fallout that the black eyeshadow gave me because that one was a little bit extra powdery. Like um, the ones that I used were a little bit powdery, but that one was a little bit extra powdery. Um, but yeah, I think uh, they perform pretty well. They're pretty metallic, you know, very shimmery. I think they look really nice. I'll be kind of curious to see how they look. Um, how they look if you wet your brush, you probably get a lot of more like metallicness out of it. Um, so I'll be curious to see how that works. But maybe at another time we'll play with that. And the next product that we have in our box is this Arctis Couture um, Diamond Glow Powder, and it comes in this cute little box. And this. Diamond Glow Powder retails for $26.99 and you can purchase it at artistcouture.com. This is what the powder looks like. So it comes in like this cute packaging. This is the front part and this is like the loose powder. So as so you can see it comes with this little like zipper. I think that's what it's called, a zipper. So 
Yeah, let's just see what the color looks like. So I'm gonna swatch it right here. That looks really good, guys. So of course, I'm gonna use the brush that we get this month and see how it performs already. Have I seen that? Of course, I feel like this brush grabs too much. I don't like this kind of brush for highlight, but here we go. You guys, look at that glow. I mean, that is a serious, serious glow. And I will definitely agree um, with them saying that it matches any skin tone. I think this is a really nice, kind of like a gold highlighter that I think it really goes with any skin tone because it's not like super super gold but it still shows gold on my skin so that tells you that it will definitely kind of work in any skin tone. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose but I'm going to use a different brush because that uh, Luxie brush is a little bit too big for the nose. I mean seriously. Like uh, I'm applying a mirror to my face. So I think this highlighter will look really good like in the inner part of my eyes. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of it, of it with this little brush right here. You guys see that? I think this will be really cool to use as an eyeshadow as well. I thought I loved the uh, highlighter last month, but this one guys, I mean, this is amazing. I think this looks really, really good. Hopefully the camera is picking it up right, but um, I think it looks really, really good in person. Of course, it's kind of the, the kind of highlighter that sometimes you'll be a little worried um, if you have texture in your skin because that can really show with this kind of highlighter, which I feel kind of like shows it a little bit here. But what I do is I just um, set my face and I just make sure I get some kind of like uh, setting spray right on that area and that will kind of like blend it out, kind of... Um, Kind of like make it melt into the skin so that helps a lot if you guys have any kind of texture in your skin like me all right so my face already set i think the highlighter is looking bomb and now i'm gonna jump into the next product that is this uh, long lasting liquid lipstick by ofra and it's a very beautiful color so this li long lasting liquid lipstick by ofra cosmetics retails for 19 dollars 90 and you can buy it on ofracosmetics.com so i own a couple of this long lasting liquid lipsticks and the formula is amazing they look matte but they don't really dry your lips they don't even dry all the way i feel like it like after a little while you might feel that they dry a little bit more but they don't dry fully, so that means they are not transfer proof, but I do love these lipsticks. They're extremely comfortable. I think it's the first matte liquid lipstick that I tried that I felt that I could actually wear it throughout the day without, you know, just feeling like I need to really take it off and just put something super moisturizing on my lips. So let's just try this color and see how it looks on my skin tone. So this is what the lipstick looks like. And I think it's definitely a beautiful, beautiful color. I think on my skin tone looks amazing. Like I said, it's kind of like a berry colored lip. Um, but it has like a really pinky undertone. So it's a beautiful color. I did not tell you the name of the like the color of the lipstick because it does not have it. Like I was looking to see if it has it on the, on the bottom of the lipstick or it has it on the side. Like usually they have it around here. But this one does not have the name, so I guess maybe because it's a, maybe it was made for um, BoxyCharm, I really don't know. But it's definitely a beautiful color. And so the last product that we have in the box are this um, this mask. So we get three different uh, sheet masks, which I do love my mask. And we get one that is a botanic fiber facial mask with pomegranate and hyaluronic acid and um, it says moisturizes to help the skin appear smooth and firm and then they have three of them are paraben free gluten free and no GMOs and then there's another one that I actually been wanting to try and this is the I will cut like this mask and it says that enhances skin natural glow and this is also a botanical fiber facial mask and this is a mask that i've really been wanting to try just because the name seriously <laughs> um 
And then the last mask that we get is extremely interesting. This says that it's a five minute facial mask and this one has tea tree oil, rose hip extract, and vitamin C. And tea tree oil for anyone who has acne problems is amazing for us. So this one says that enhances radiance, minimizes pores, and even skin tone. That will be really interesting because those are very um, specific, interesting <laughs> concerns for girls so like minimizing pores uh we really need to see that and this one says hashtag primer and um it says that it preps the skin for a flawless makeup application so basically you could use this one i guess as a primer so it'll be really interesting to see if you guys want me to like try it on camera or something just let me know and i could do that we could just try and see how they work on camera see if it's worth for us to just repurchase these products and yeah let's just see how they work so guys, this uh, three sheet mask, they are made by um, Biovel Cosmetics and they retail for $14.97 and you can purchase them at BiovelCosmetics.com but I do think that you can purchase them in Ulta as well because I have seen the I woke up like this one in there and um, I imagine if that one is in at Ulta then probably the other ones are at Ulta as well. Alright guys, and those were all the products for this month. I hope you really enjoy seeing the products and seeing how they're working on my face. Um, I added the value of the products and it comes down to $113.86. with So that's what we get this month. And like I said at the beginning, it's still over $100. So I think, like I said, I mean, Boxy Charm is always worth it. Um, this month, I really enjoyed the um, Offer Cosmetics lipstick. I think this is something that I'll definitely get a lot of use out of. And I definitely, definitely love the um, Artist Couture um, the Diamond Glow Powder. I think this is something that will look amazing on the eyes, like it, like Boxy Charm says. And I think, you know, it looks amazing as a highlighter. I think this is something that it could also look really good, kind of like highlighting. Um, like in our bodies, you know, if you want to highlight your bones over here, if you want to highlight your shoulders a little bit, I think this is something that's going to look amazing. Um, the brush, I think is a nice brush. Mine, it was a little bit bended, so I think that made it a little bit hard for me to apply the product, but I think once I wash it, it'll probably go back to, um, its natural shape. I think it's really good brush for highlighting even though it might not be the highlighting brush that I prefer but it's still good and really good for the under eye. I kind of wanted to use it for that but I just hold it for um for the highlight and um the masks are definitely something that I wanted to try so I think they're really interesting and yeah I think I really liked all the products but yeah I think that was pretty much it for this video guys i hope you really enjoyed the video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and be part of my family um i'm always doing the boxy charm videos so i will see you back on my next video guys bye